Hi, I'd like to take the time in this video to basically provide the plugin uh, explanation of PodFarm effect. Uh, in the previous three, I had shown you all uh, exactly what we meant by standalone operation of the application. Well, in this case, the plugin version of PodFarm is really, it's pretty easy to understand once you, you get the basics of what we're doing. Essentially, we're always going to be sending a direct signal to the recording application of choice, which in my case here, it's uh, Reaper. And um, the signal that you're hearing is just basically my Shure SM58 going straight into a UX1 without any processing. Um, let's say we want to go ahead and throw on the PodFarm plugin VST effect. Within Reaper, you just click on the FX button and you look in the list of um, VST and DX plugins. Here's the PodFarm VST plugin. If we hit OK, it'll go ahead and launch it. Now, because of the uh, video capture software, you're going to still be hearing the direct sound. But actually, right now, as I'm recording and listening, uh, my, my mic signal is going through this Roland uh, JC120 model. Um, if I were to turn up the drive right now, I'm actually hearing the intensity of the drive go up. And as I turn this down, and you can actually see the signal uh, in the uh, uh, LED meters here increase um, as a result of these changes. But you're actually getting uh, the true signal in the video of the direct signal. Uh, this is what's going to be recorded. So as, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and just record. So now you can see that... Um, there's our waveform of, of what, uh, what, what's being recorded. Even though I'm changing the, uh, the drive knob, uh, in my headphones, again, I reiterate, I'm hearing the change. You're not, because you're actually hearing what Reaper is recording to the hard disk. And what this, this offers for uh, the recording environment these days is the fact that you can print a direct uh, signal to hard disk, but then later on you can launch a plugin effect and choose to change the amp model. You know, as such, let's say we want a Fender uh, Blackface. Um, I'm hearing the change already, and let's go. Let's say um, I want to put on an orange amp, which is one of my personal favorites here. Yeah. And immediately, oh yeah, um, I'm getting some nice just hemorrhage distortion happening. I should back down, and here we go. But at any rate, as you can see, the plug-in method of using the effect simply just gives you more options in the recording process where you can decide later on after you've recorded the signal how you want to process it. And that's pretty much it. So there you go.